In this video, we're going to define and discuss elementary matrices. Definition. An elementary matrix is a matrix gotten by applying an elementary row operation to the identity matrix I. For example, look at the three by three identity matrix. Now let's perform an elementary row operation on this matrix. Selecting one at random, let's multiply the first row by a constant, by five. Let's say this is an elementary matrix because we got it from the identity matrix using an elementary row operation. What's the significance of elementary matrices? Well, let's try taking this elementary matrix and multiplying it by a three by three matrix. When we perform this multiplication, what happens? First row, First column, five times A, zero, zero, five A. And filling in the rest of this product. This elementary matrix times this matrix is this. Now we got this elementary matrix by taking the first row of the identity and multiplying it by five. And what did multiplying this matrix by this elementary matrix do? It took the first row and multiplied it by five. Turning that observation into a theorem, if E is an elementary matrix got in by applying an elementary row operation to the identity, then multiplying on the left by the elementary matrix performs the same elementary row operation that was used to define it. Again, we saw that up here, the elementary row operation multiplying the first row by five created this elementary matrix. And when we multiply by this elementary matrix, it multiplies the first row by five. Now, a corollary to that, Gaussian and Gauss-Jordan elimination are just series of row operations. We can think of Gauss-Jordan or Gaussian elimination as a series of matrix multiplications. 
So if you have a matrix A that you want to put in reduced row echelon form, you do it by performing a bunch of row operations. This product performs the first row operation. This product performs the second row operation and so on until you've performed your last row operation and put the matrix into reduced row echelon form. One more theorem before we call this video. Every elementary matrix is invertible. We won't give a formal proof of this, but we'll give an argument. Every row operation can be undone by another row operation. If we switch two rows, we can switch them back. If we multiply a row by a K, we can multiply that same row by one divided by K. If we multiply a row by a constant and add it to another row, we can multiply that same row by a negative constant and add it to the same row. For example, this row operation multiplying by five can be undone by this row operation. Multiplying by one fifth. And this row operation gives us an elementary matrix. And this row operation gives us an elementary matrix. And these elementary matrices are inverses of each other. So to find the inverse of an elementary matrix, we just look at the row operation that undoes that matrices row operation. So actually a quick corollary to this argument every elementary matrix is invertible and the inverse of an elementary matrix is an elementary matrix.